Boys and gals, today we're reacting to what would the world do without the Philippines? Oh my god, it's coming back. Today I'm being biased again. Let's go react to some Philippines content. So, yeah, if you want to see this video, you should check it out in the description down below. Subscribe and like. So, yeah, I'm gonna start my recording. 2000 years later. Okay, here we go guys. Like and subscribe for videos like this. I want to know what would the world do without the Philippines, okay? I'm just, I just, I'm just here. I want to see it. I don't know what am I going to see. If it's if bad or it's good. I don't know. Like and subscribe. So yeah. Let's go. The next video is going to be the final part of the India and Pakistan. A continuing story and I might actually search for more history videos that I know that I want to learn about like I know yeah, yeah I don't know so yeah we're here reacting to a uh, Philippine history I don't know this is not history but it's like an alternate history so yeah let's go there is one country in the world that is taken for granted more than any other place. Uh -huh. This country is home to the kindest individuals with an incredible love for life. They're responsible for inventing video calls, baby incubators for rural areas, and they also play a massive role in the invention of chips that we use. Video calls, baby incubations, and phone chips? Hold on, wait, what? Okay. Using so many of our computers today. This country has citizens living all over the world to help you and I, to help the elderly, the sick, the poor, and many ah. of them go totally unnoticed. Ah, yes, the, oh, the nurses. Okay, I, yeah, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. When I told you that they are taken for granted, I meant it. With scarce opportunities, many family members make the tough decisions to go and work overseas so that they can better provide for their loved ones. The Filipino government has capitalized on this phenomenon and is actively exporting people for profit, bringing over oh. $30 billion a year into the country. Uh, OFW, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, um, for so yeah, we, we have... We have a lot of pe people getting sent to other countries just to work. Hmm, yeah. In fact, the Philippines is the top supplier of nurses in the world, mm. with about 25% of all overseas nurses coming from the country. And especially now, during COVID, the demand for Filipino caregivers and nurses is higher than ever. Without the Philippines, the world might look something like this. Oh god, oh god, I'm kind of scared though. And what if, where would I live? Where would I get born? America? Hey. Or not, to ask you, maybe like around China, maybe Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, maybe, maybe if the Philippines doesn't exist. Or hell, even Spain, maybe. Or Mexico, Lina I don't Blues, know. 7,641 islands with a total landmass of 300,000 square kilometers. I forgot. That's how much you goddamn islands we have? Jesus Christ. Hold on. We would lose 7,641? 7, Hold on. In, the, in that country? Goddamn, boy. I want to visit them, though. <laughs> I want to visit them, though. 41 with a total landmass of 300,000 square kilometers. These breathtakingly beautiful islands are known for their ah. agriculture and they're home to over 35% of the world's coral reefs. Dang. Without the Philippines, we would lose an invaluable amount of the dwindling supply of coral reefs that we have left. The oh. luscious soil on the islands is so rich and fertile that crops can be planted all year round. So with no Philippines, there would be a huge shortage in the production of imported coconuts, bananas, uh, and coconuts. fruits from all around the world. I learned about that. Um, I actually saw a video about, um, what, do you, what do you call that? Um, the Philippines is the biggest importer of coconuts in the whole world, so yeah. 
As a blossoming and developing tech giant, the Philippines is known as the text capital of the world, where the oh, country yeah. <laughs> sends in excess of 400 million text messages every single day. Yeah. And just so you can get a sense of how much I love this country, there are two things that you should Oh, you love at. the country? One, Aww. the heart-wrenchingly intimate care that families give their elders. As a country with massive, massive poverty issues, many families are not able to afford care. So caring for those who have reached an older age has become deeply embedded in the backbone of their society. Young children are often taught to greet their elders with a gesture called mano po to express profound respect. Or bless po. Yeah, mano po or bless po. So yeah, um, yeah, we, we take care of my beautiful grandmother and handsome grandpa <laughs> so yeah we love them I, I don't want them to live in some nursing homes I don't want them I want them to be here with me because yeah they they're taking care of me and yeah I love them True. The Philippines is the gold standard in Asia for how women should be treated in society. The Global Gender Gap Rankings Index had New Zealand and the Philippines directly competing for the top two spots over the past 10 years, blowing other East Asian countries far out of the water, beating the US and many other mainstream developed countries by a long shot. The bottom line is that without the Philippines, the world would be less flavorful and not nearly as charming and definitely a lot less magical. So in order to sustain one of the most important and resourceful places on the earth, as much as we need them, we also have to meet that need with an equal measure of appreciation. Living in the Philippines is not always easy. There are people living in very tough situations and there are many places that are soaked in poverty. And that's why so many families are making the sacrifice of sending their loved ones overseas. In the beginning of this video, I said that the Philippines is the place in this world that is most taken for granted and I stand by that statement. A big part of my company, Regan Hillier International, is employing people within the Philippines. These people are a very big part of my heart and I made this video to show my massive gratitude to one of, I believe, the best countries on the planet. Please join me in thanking the Philippines and write, thank you Philippines, maybe even tag in a Filipino who you know and love and who you want to acknowledge today. Let's share this video to show appreciation and to show the rest of the world what an amazing place the Philippines is. My name is Regan Hillia and thank you so much for watching. Wow, I'm that. <laughs> that almost made me cry. God dang, bro. Thank you. Thank you. But to be honest with you, I'm a little bit scared going to, <laughs> to our oceans because I don't know. What if there's like a shark? I'm, I'm hella scared from sharks, crocodiles, or something, alligators. <laughs> Too scared. Too scared to face them. And yeah. To answer you, that's actually a good video. That kind of warmed me up. And yeah, even though the Philippines isn't that perfect, but hey, every country is not perfect. So yeah, thank you for watching everybody. Like and subscribe for videos like this. This is a short video. I just want to watch this video and warm my heart. Yes. Thank you for watching everybody. Like and subscribe. Peace out.